In this video, we're going to cover how to convert terminating decimals into fractions. Or in exams, they'll often ask you to express the terminating decimal as a fraction. Now, a terminating decimal is just a decimal that has a limited number of decimal places, like 0 0.7 or 0 0.031. So they're the ones that don't go on forever. To convert them into a fraction, though, like if we were asked to express 0 0.7 as a fraction, there's a couple steps that we have to do. The first thing we have to do is take all the digits that are to the right of the decimal point, so 7 in this case, and make those digits the numerator of our fraction. Then for the denominator, we start by writing a 1, and then we have to work out how many zeros we have to add after that 1. And the point to remember is that the number of zeros we use is exactly the same as the number of digits we have after the decimal point. So here, with 0 0.7, we have just the 7 after the decimal point, so one digit. And that means we're going to put a single 0 after our 1, making our denominator 10. So our fraction is just 7 over 10. Similarly, if we were asked to express 0 0.13 as a fraction, we'd start by taking that 1, 3 and making it the numerator of a fraction. Then we'd put a 1 on the bottom and think about how many zeros we need to add to it. And because there are only two digits after the decimal point, the 1 and the 3, we're going to have to add two zeros so that we get 13 over 100 as our fraction. As a slightly harder one, let's try to express 0 0.031 as a fraction. The first thing we're going to do is take all the digits after the decimal point, so 0, 3, 1, and put that as our numerator. This time though, we can get rid of the 0 and just write it as 31, because it's exactly the same thing. Then, like always, we put a 1 as our denominator and work out how many zeros we need to add. 0 0.031 has three digits after the decimal point, the 0, the 3, and the 1. So we're going to have to add three zeros to the 1 in our denominator, giving us 31 over 1,000 as our answer. And we're done. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So hope that it all made sense. If you enjoyed it, then please do give us a like and subscribe. And we'll see you again soon.